this is the new tender shoot so we'll collect this tender bamboo shoot and then we'll start with another next exciting recipe a close look it has got small hairy spikes which can hurt you these are like lashes so please be careful while peeling this bamboo shoot and number one remove the cover Kolumba hi friends, welcome to Novomika Narza Recreation Channel. Look up her. Why? It's ready now. The bamboo shoot. We have peeled it. Now it's ready to be cut. So let's start. Today I'm going to share with you a very authentic recipe from our Bodo community. Tender bamboo shoot with chicken. That is onla recipe. Mewai onla dao. It's done now friends. Homemade rice flour. Today I have pounded it in mortar and pestle. You can easily prepare this in a mixture jar. The result will be the same. Almost all the ingredients are ready now. You can have a close look. To prepare the Miwai Onla recipe, that is the tender bamboo shoot Onla chicken recipe. First and foremost, we need is a sliced tender bamboo shoot. Chicken cut into pieces. Pounded rice flour. Dry ingredients, I have salt, turmeric powder, and the jeera powder. Sliced onions, and then this is the pounded chili ginger garlic paste. I'll be using plain oil. This is a secret ingredient that we need while preparing this online recipe. This is kare or kade. This is the liquid alkali, which is made from the burnt ashes of sesame seeds plant then this is the paste of the garam masala so friends let's start cooking the wok is hot I'll pour in the oil adding in the onions The onions have turned translucent now, friends. We'll add in the ginger garlic paste. We'll saute this till the raw ginger garlic paste smell burns. Now we'll add in the chicken. Adding in salt, covering it for some few seconds. Adding in the turmeric now. Since this online recipe that I'm sharing today is a combination of chicken and the tender bamboo shoot, I'll cook this chicken till half done. Now it's time to add the jeera powder. Give it a quick mix. We'll add a bit of garam masala paste. 
and reserve some for later use. We'll take this out now. Look up her, get the cool Kangan Honsaida. I'm probably a wife for you, no, say be new now. Now, after taking out the chicken, I'll saute this tender bamboo shoots. We don't need to add any oil to it. This tender bamboo shoot is to be sauteed with the help of this curry, alkali. Add some salt to it, and the turmeric powder, as well as the jeera powder. The liquid alkali friends, it will tenderize this tender bamboo shoot. The crunchy bit will be gone and then it will become soft. We'll cover it for some time. Let's check friends. The water released from the tender bamboo shoots has dried up now. That means it's done. Why na three by the prefer to even say adding in water? I have added the water as required, so I'll cover it and let it boil. Look up her. See, friends, it has boiled. Now we'll add the half done chicken, which I have prepared for. Adding in the half done chicken, friends, all of it. Again, we'll cover it and let it boil. The chicken and the bamboo shoot has been boiling for five minutes. Now it's time to add the pounded rice flour. The technique which we will do now is called onla urnai in our language. So, this dry flour I'll add to the curry. Now, with the help of this kado, this bamboo stick is called kado in our Boro language. We use this kado to fluff off the rice when it's cooked. So, with the help of the kado, we we'll stir, adding in the rice flour bit by bit. This is the usual authentic technique of preparing the onla in Boro community. We have to be very careful while adding this rice flour. We have to keep in note so that the lumps doesn't form.
friends, that was the authentic technique of preparing the onla recipe. If you find that difficult, friends, the easy trick which I'll show you now, that is, just add water to the rice flour. Then mix it. Mix it nicely. And then pour it. We have added all the rice flour. The last thing to add now is the liquid garam masala paste. I'll add the whole. Then we'll let it boil for three minutes and that will be done. The onla curry is cooked now. You can see friends this foamy white creamy substance that's formed on top of this curry. This is called bola in our language. As I have told you before we can always judge a good onla curry by looking at this formation of the creamy substance, the bola. So, ang nabo onla ya bola sa karbay lukukur, zaabayda. Now the final touch. The smell of the Chinese coriander is really intense. So it's done now. It smells really wonderful. So friends, this is the ultimate authentic onla mewai dao recipe that is the tender bamboo shoot cooked with chicken onla curry which I prepared today especially for you friends. I feel really proud that I could share this recipe with you. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you for watching this video. Today we are going to be doing this video. Today we are going to be doing this video. Today we are going to be doing this video.